is TK Viper Tech and today I'm going to unbox and review the Lightning Digital AV Adapter for my iPad Mini. It works for the iPad 4, the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5th generation. On the back it says Lightning Digital AV Adapter in multiple languages and you see all the ports there and on the bottom there's a graph to show you how to set everything up from the TV into the adapter and the adapter into your iDevice. And now let's take a box cutter and open this up. Just got to cut these two little plastic areas here. And that should do the trick. And there we go. Pull out the top here. And everything should slide out very easily. It is an Apple packaging, so it's very simple. Not a lot of extra material, no wires. It's just one piece of cardboard with some uh, paper cuffs to keep the device there. And here's the adapter. Much, much smaller than the previous model for the iPad 3. So let's uh, rip this out. And the bottom, we just uh, pull this back and it comes out very easily. And this is the adapter. But before we look at it, let's check out what comes in the box. This time, very simple, just one pamphlet. The warranty information, it comes with a one year limited warranty. And basically, it just tells you the warranty information in multiple languages. And that's it. And here we have the adapter. You can see on this end, it's the lightning end, so very small very durable compared to the old 30 pin and here's the bottom we have the HDMI port here and a lightning port there so you can charge your device while you're using this adapter and comparing to the old one you can see the size difference especially on the top here and uh, on the bottom it's wider you can see uh, on the left is the same on the right we have the bigger 30 pin port And now let's uh, hook everything up. So this one goes here and it charges up your device while you're watching a movie or doing a presentation. And then we have an HDMI wire here that's connected to my uh, PC monitor. Plug this into here. You can hear it snap, it's very tight. And finally, we plug this end into the iPad mini. And there we have it and you can hear the little bling there it says uh, it's charging basically so you can see the little lightning bolt there it's charging the device while I'm using it and now let's open up uh, my photos app and just play one of my videos as you can see the iPad mini has detected an external monitor so it's not going to show the video on the iPad mini itself but it's going to show it on the external PC or TV so if you don't have AirPlay and you don't have Apple TV, this is a good option, but it is going to cost around $50. And now let's uh, check out a slideshow. I was in uh, a temple here in Japan during the autumn leaves uh, viewing season. You can see some of the pictures here. Uh, very packed with people with cameras taking photos like crazy. But anyways, it works just as you would expect it to. It's a nice little adapter. It is small and it is secure. It doesn't fall out like the old one. So that's what I like about this uh, new adapter. Everything is hooked on very tightly. It's not going to yank out by itself. Uh, so yeah, definitely get it if you have an iPad mini or a newer iDevice that supports uh, the lightning adapter. So there you have it, the Lightning Digital AV Adapter. Here's the HDMI port and here is the Lightning port for charging your device. So here's another look. Alright, thanks for watching. Please rate this video. Tell your friends about my two channels, TK Viper and TK Viper Tech. Check out my website at www.wkode.com. Have a good one.